Hey guys, you can check up here. Today I am going to be discussing how to port forward your, your just port forward for a server of any kind, Terraria, Minecraft, um, other games with multiplayer, obviously. Um, this video will teach you the basics. This is pretty simple stuff. Just have to port forward it, and you can either port forward, which some people find difficult, or you can use Hamachi, which Hamachi can be difficult for some people still, some people can't use it um, on their computers. Uh, I can, and it's easy, but it's not the best. I use it for my Terraria sometimes, <clears throat> and it's pretty bad, actually, because it lags just a little bit. But then again, that could just be the um, my computer with that. Okay. First of all, what you're going to do is go to Run, which on um, Windows XP, you go to Run. I'm using Windows 7, so it's just right here, but in Windows XP, you have to actually go to Run, which is like over here. Okay, so first you type in CMD, and then you hit Enter, or you can just wait for the pop-up there, which is Command Prompt. Or you can just go find it in uh, Accessories right here. Go to... All programs, and then go to accessories, and then right there. Same exact thing. Except it says, yeah, different right there. Okay. Then what you put type in is IP config. I P C O N F I G. Hit enter. You see all this. You go to the top one, wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection, two. Then you find your default gateway. Mine is 192.168.1.1. So you go to your internet browser. I'm going to start up a new one since I have so many tabs open. And then what you do is you type that in 192.168.1.1 enter and then it asks you for your username and password if you're using Netgear uh, I already have it saved as mine so it just automatically goes <clears throat> if you're using Netgear the, um, the default username is admin A-D-M-I-N and the default password is password but it, it somehow, in some older versions of Netgear, it is one, two, three, four. I use um, Netgear, obviously. Okay. First, you want to go to port forwarding, obviously. Then I already have the port it port forwarding. <clears throat> um, I actually have a Minecraft server up right now, uh, which there will be a video on that when it goes public. That is not the correct IP address for you guys to get in on, so don't even think about that. Um, I will probably post a video in tomorrow or the day after when I get the, like, a web's site running for the whitelisting, because I definitely want to whitelist it. I had a previous server, but it got griefed because, um, just anyone who joined can build. Okay, anyways, you know, also can, um, well, okay, first you want to go to port forwarding, obviously. You make a new, add new, add custom service, which is... This menu right here, it pops up saying, well, wait, this, I filled the information in already. But what you do is the um, you type in the service name, mine is Minecraft. You keep that the way it is, support for the Minecraft server. <clears throat> um, this is how you do that, or just how to port forward in general. Um, then you put 25565, 25565, depending on what port you want it to be. I'm um, not sure. This is the default. So, the server IP address. It already said 192.168.1 for me, but you look at your um, command prompts. The IPv4 address, mine is 192.168.1.2. I don't need this anymore. Right there. See? Click apply. Bam. You're pretty much done. You just need to have the server software. Okay. Done with that. Now what you want to go to is what is my IP.org. <clears throat> then you want to go to 
this is the IP address for my server. Yes. You, uh, <clears throat> um, it is going to be down tonight, so don't even think about going on, really. Um, yeah, that sounded kind of stupid. Um, yeah, but this is my server for my, uh, you go on it if you want. Um, this is the IP for my server. Uh, colon two five five six five afterwards. You, you Minecraft people know what I'm talking about. Um, and I, I'm gonna do a video on that probably in a couple of days. Okay, thank. You. Um, and that's it. Simple. Then you need the software, which I use MC my admin here. So, thank you guys for watching. And till next time.